Fast forward to where we are today and we find ourselves in a different circumstance and the behavior of airlines has not been uniform. Um, I'm proud to say the two airlines based in Texas, Mr. Kelly's air airline and Mr. Parker's airline, I think have been exemplary, particularly concerning vaccine mandates. Both of you have made public commitments that you will not be firing your employees because of failure to comply with the vaccine mandate. I thank you for that. Mr. Bastian has likewise made that commitment at Delta. The outlier here is, is United. And Mr. Kirby, United's behavior on this issue, I have to say, has been deeply disturbing. Uh, I'm a frequent customer of United. I live in Houston. I've got over a million miles on United. There are over 14,000 United employees in the state of Texas. And the way United has treated its employees is in marked contrast to your competitors sitting here. Your competitors have said they will stand with their employees. United has not made that same commitment. How many pilots has United fired because of failure to comply with the vaccine mandate? Uh, well, Senator, uh, I'm happy to talk also about the rationale for why we did it. We did it for safety. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I have a limited time, safety. so my question is how many pilots have you fired? I believe it is six out of 13. Okay. And how many pilots have you p placed on unpaid leave? Uh, I think it's about 80. Okay. How many flight attendants have you fired? Uh, I don't know the number. In total, it's about 200 employees. Well, I will tell you, I spoke this morning to the airline employees for health freedom that said they had over 2,000 United employees who had been placed on unpaid leave because they sought exemptions from the vaccine mandate. They said that, said that included 331 pilots. I will also note that I have been literally inundated with United employees complaining about United's callous disregard for the rights of the, pi of the pilots. One of the messages was from a pilot who flew for United for more than two decades, who applied for and received an exemption from your vaccine mandate on religious grounds, and who was subsequently placed on leave with no pay and no benefits, including no medical insurance. Now his wife, who relies on her husband's insurance, has had to postpone a necessary surgery with no idea of when she'll be able to reschedule because she, she has no idea when her husband will be able to fly again. And you're simultaneously enforcing a non-compete so this pilot can't even go work for your competitors. Another message I received from another pilot, a constituent self-described proud Texan, flew for the Air Force for almost three decades, including missions in Asia, now founds himself on indefinite unpaid leave with a denial of all benefits to include medical, dental, vision, insurance, disability, travel privileges, crew member access to jump seats, denied access to his retirement savings. This morning, I spoke with a 10-year flight attendant for United, a woman named Ms. Adriana Ubali, who is a single mom, an Hispanic single mom from Texas, who you fired she received her termination notice tied in a trash can to her front gate. I have a letter here, Madam Chairman, from, from uh, Ms. Ubali describing the disgraceful treatment she received at the hands of United. I ask unanimous consent this record to be entered, this letter Without be entered objection. in the record. Just recently, you're being sued by your employees for mistreating them, for violating their terms of employment. Just recently, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals Judge James Ho, someone I know very well, an exemplary jurist, wrote an opinion in which he described the likelihood of your employees succeeding on the merits as the claims against you, quote, appear compelling and convincing at this stage. And I want to read what Judge Ho wrote about United. Title VII forbids employers from retaliating against employees who attempt to exercise their statutory rights. Yet United CEO Scott Kirby told employees in a company town hall meeting that, quote, very few religious exemptions to the vaccine mandate would be granted and that anyone who even attempted to request one would be, quote, putting their job on the line. I saw that video and it's a disturbing video. He went on to note, this is again Judge Ho writing, the district court thus concluded that United's mandate reflects an apathy if not antipathy for many of its employees' concerns and a dearth of toleration for those expressing a diversity of thought through both its policy and its official statements to employees. United has demonstrated a, quote, calloused approach to and apparent disdain for people of faith. 
Why is United's conduct disregarding the rights of your employees so different from the conduct of your competitor air airlines, which are protecting the rights of their pilots and flight attendants and not firing them or putting them on unpaid leave for exercising their religious liberty rights? Well, Senator Cruz, uh, again, we did this for safety. Uh, we believe it saved lives. I think that's my number one obligation is safety, uh, particularly running an airline. And you have and an obligation to your customers? Uh, my number one obligation is safety, um, including to our customers. Are your competitors unsafe? Uh, I think that the world is safer um, for us. I made the decision for United. I'll let the, my competitors speak for themselves. Uh, I made the decision for United uh, that getting everyone vaccinated would save lives and well, would Mr. create Kirby, a safer environment for all the other workers. Mr. Kirby, I will tell you this. My time but I will tell you this. I fly United flight almost every week. Almost without exception, when I'm on one of your flights, I get stopped by a pilot or a flight attendant, often multiple pilots or multiple flight attendants, who say thank you for fighting for us. Your employees are being mistreated and it's disappointing. Your company is better than this and what you're doing is wrong. Senator Peters. Thank you,